I'm Norm Peters, VP Engineering at Ribbon Communications. Mark and I are going to talk today about how we're enabling our customers to move to a CICD enabled mode of operation. I'll first let Mark introduce himself. Hi, my name is Mark Price. I'm Director in PLM for Automation and Orchestration here at Ribbon. Well, let's get into it. Uh, when we talk about CICD within my engineering team, I can easily speak to my personal motivation. I want my developers to be able to submit code frequently. I want to leverage automation tools to scan for coding mistakes, security vulnerabilities, and of course, I want heavy use of automation so that I can continually see, test, and assess for code quality. Mark, can you tell me when you're talking with our customers, what are their drivers to move towards a CICD story? Sure. Yeah. So the, the customers have some of the exact same drivers uh, to automate uh, automate test, but our customers also need to automate their operational environment. Um, and we're now delivering uh, cloud native solutions, and those cloud native solutions um, are CNFs composed of microservices. There's horizontal scaling, and automation is a requirement in that environment because of just the complexity of the new applications that are being delivered. In addition, uh, they're obviously looking to reduce their opex. Uh, and that's done through reducing errors, um, eliminating configuration drift, uh, faster troubleshooting, all the automation tools out there today really help with that uh, and reduce uh, the overall OPEX of, and total cost of ownership of the solution as a whole. Um, but ultimately, they're looking for something very similar. They want to uh, deliver functionality faster. They want to monetize that functionality faster. And a fully automated environment uh, achieves that. Also, um, they're putting in CI/CD environments, uh, much like you are, Norm, and those, uh, those CI/CD environments do require all the operational interfaces to be automated. Um, everything from you know, receiving a build uh, from, from you, Norm, and then the, the CSP actually building uh, for their environment, testing in their environment, feeding the results back. Uh, to, to Ribbon's development team, getting a new build, and ultimately, with all that automated, that happens very quickly uh, and frequently. You can get updates uh, and ultimately deploy quickly. After deployment, though, there's the operational period, and the operational period also requires automation um, during the operational phase. Um, you know that that it doesn't stop with sort of deploy, right? It continues on through into operations. So when, when I do speak with customers, the initial request I almost always get is just send me all of your infrastructure, send me all your test cases, I'll run them in my lab and everything will be great. But I think that's going to miss the mark in terms of what they're really looking for. You know, my goal as an engineering leader, I want to test my products as thoroughly as possible before it's ever released to a customer. There's always going to be unique issues that only show up under customer specific configurations and usage patterns. And it's this type of you know, mutually beneficial testing that I believe we need to focus in on. So. You know, as an application CNF vendor, can you give me your thoughts on what you believe our specific role is in enabling our customers on this journey? Sure. So our customers are putting a lot of different automation orchestration environments. So for us to be able to deliver into those environments, we need to um, hide the complexity of our application and deliver a declarative API that's easy to integrate into a service orchestrator, domain orchestrator, pipelines, uh, much like yours, Norm. Uh, even uh, we have CSPs uh, implementing sort of a GitOps approach with, with, with GitLabs. Um, with those vast number of different environments that we need to integrate into, the easiest thing for us to do is deliver a application automation engine that's declaratively driven and it's very easy to fit into those environments. So again, going back to the drivers of operational cost reduction, improving velocity, again, the, the focus is always on testing, but to get to testing, you've got to first get through delivery, deployment, and the configuration stages. So can you talk about how we specifically need to structure our actual technology deliverables to, to allow it to fit into a customer's DFCD infrastructure? Sure, absolutely. So for each application we deliver, a cloud native function we deliver, we, we provide four uh, different automation um, uh, pillars or, uh, of automation. So starting with infrastructure, the ability to set up any infrastructure that's necessary before instantiating uh, the application, uh, lifecycle management of the application itself, instantiation, terminate, upgrade, uh, provisioning, uh, uh, configuration, so to speak, and being able to do that easily using declarative-based um, a declarative-based file. That ultimately enables test. Um, and uh, being able to have all four pillars automated, automated along with the application providing observability, KPIs and such, enables validation during the CICD uh, phase and it, it enables operational closed loop uh, automation as well. All right, so if I were to sum this up in one summary statement, the key is a well set of structured 
automation building blocks covering deployment, configuration, test, observability, and that facilitates an integration into each customer's specific environment that they selected for CICD. Okay, well, if you're interested in speaking more with us on this topics, please reach out to us at Ribbon Communication. Thank you. Thank you.